sunflowerammo.com here and today's video is going to be on emergency food supplies and specifically cooking in a thermos um, so before we start on cooking in a thermos I'm going to do a brief little run through on emergency food supplies um, you can really split it up into three categories the first one is freeze dried or pre-prepared -pre food um, you have Mountain House which is famous uh, brand of freeze dried food food uh, packet here that's made to go camping or 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 to be portable you know to put in a bug out bag or something or keep in your vehicle and then you have the MREs the MREs great product um, you can eat it without heating it up although uh, most higher quality MREs will will have a heater and this one does with with each meal that you can heat it up water activated uh, but if you don't have water you can eat the meal as is um, the real drawback to these are cost um, they're fairly expensive on a per meal basis um, you can get the mountain house free freeze dried food and other brands in larger cans bulk cans um, and that will decrease the cost um, but really these are just meant for short-term use um, second way to do your emergency food supply is canned goods um, with the canned goods um, they usually have a two-year best buy date um, these canned goods will be edible past their best buy date um, they've done studies on canned food 100 years old and it's still edible although as canned food goes past its best by date it will lose some flavor and it will lose some of the new nutritional value but canned goods are great because you can buy what you use rotate it through your pantry um, and it's an easy way to keep a one two three week supply of food in your house at all times but if you are really worried about extended food supplies being compromised really the only good way to economically have an emergency food store in hand is with dry goods um, dried beans rice wheat and buy it in bulk and you can get bulk rice beans wheat sugar anything at Costco Sam's and you put it up in a five gallon food grade bucket uh, preferably with a mylar liner and throw in some oxygen absorbers seal it up and, and you have beans rice wheat that will store for 10 20 30 years um, depending on the item but there you have a long-term food supply that you don't have to worry about you put it up and it's done you don't have to rotate through your stocks you don't have to worry about best buy dates or, or inspection dates on your MREs um, you're you're ready to go with a bulk dried food system so that's where we get into cook cooking with a thermos because um, most likely if you're in a situation to where you're having to get into your dried goods your dried beans your dried rice um, conditions aren't going to be great and the one bad thing about rice and beans in particular is that um, they have a longer cooking time rice takes 20 minutes to cook beans can take hours to cook um, so with the cooking in the thermos method you can cook these items only using three to five minutes of your heat source because all you have to do is boil water you boil water and you're ready to go so that's really the key is minimizing the fuel you have to use to cook your long-term dry goods that you have in storage so with that we will talk about a couple of ways to heat your water in an emergency situation and then we'll actually go through the process to cook in a thermos.